Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and uh, here I am again, reviewing guitars. What do you know? Um, today I have the Court uh, G210. And, uh, well, the thing is, uh, I basically did this. I walked into my local guitar shop, and I got the cheapest one. This is the cheapest guitar in the store. And, uh, yeah, it kind of fits me since I've done a review of my main guitar. That's the Court G260. This is 210, 260. So, yeah, I have some kind of connection to this brand and this model. Okay, so what do you get for the least kind of money? Uh, okay, let's start at the top. We have proper tuners, enclosed, perfect quality tuners. Uh, they look kind of like uh, the small uh, Grover tuners uh, that you can find on, for instance, the Charvel guitars. Really good. Uh, we have a maple neck, rosewood fingerboard. Uh, a nine and a half inch uh, radius on the neck, so on the fretboard. So it's um, and in size, both in size and in radius, it's yeah, it's like a modern uh, Stratocaster basically, and that's where I think the entire idea about the guitar is. Um, even the body shape, it's like a Stratocaster style guitar, but. With slight changes and slight uh, modernizations, and um, I think an ambition to make it even more ergonomically correct. So, where was I? The neck. Um, yeah. Maybe there wasn't much more to say. It's a bolt on, of course. Uh, same uh, attachment as on the G260, there's four recessed bolts. We have a basswood body, uh, a three ply scratch plate, and uh, yeah, pickups from po Power Sound. Five way switch, tone, volume, and uh, I don't know what, what you call this. It's not like a vintage, it's more like. I think it's uh, aiming to uh, duplicate the trend that's on the Fender American Stratocaster. Uh, it's a two-point thing pivoting on uh, knife edges and you have uh, regular bent steel saddles. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I, I actually re I looked at the new ones at the court webpage and they seem to be exchanging this tremolo for a standard vintage tremolo with six uh, screws. Bad thing, court. This is much better. It's a shame on you. Materials and hardware gets an eight. Build quality durability. As I said, this is the cheapest, the cheapest guitar in the store. Uh, the tuners are very good, uh, the neck feels, it has the same uh, um, dimensions as my G260, that has a slightly flatter radius, but other than that it's the same size and it has the same feel of, it feels like you're touching the bare wood, but they must have some kind of finish on it. And it just feels like a high quality instrument. There are no sharp fret ends anywhere. Um, nice uh, medium jumbo frets. Um, the trem is very fluid. Uh, and uh, for this kind of tremolo, it's actually quite good at returning to pitch. And. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this guitar. Yeah, there is one thing. Uh, the nut is slightly too high and um, 
and this is not a problem it's not much so much a problem with the action because uh, it came with a rather high action i uh, lowered the bridge a bit and that was perfect no bussing anywhere but uh, this is too high and that affects the intonation uh, so the first like the three first frets um yeah it's kind of sh it's rather sharp actually because and that's because of the uh, uh, the nut being too high um so that's a minor complaint and that's basically the only only complaint uh build quality durability it gets an eight it doesn't feel like the cheapest guitar in the store uh, and um I should know since I always review cheap cheap guitars. Playability. Um yeah, as I said, the neck feels very uh, uh high class and expensive actually. Um as I said, there's a problem with it not being too high, so that of course affects playability. Other than that, there's no problem at all in my opinion it works really well it has yeah there's nothing hindering you you can get really high here and yeah it's very good it's shockingly good um i don't know about these ones uh, uh, there was actually they keep doing this at court uh, an even uh, an aversion before this one another tremolo or basically the same bass for the tremolo, but it had different saddles. It had more like they were cast metal, but they were supposed to look like the steel saddles you find on the, for instance, the American, what are they called? The American Deluxe series. And uh, at those, these, the screws didn't point out like they do now, and they are rather sharp, so... I'm not a big fan of these bent steel saddles. I like the other ones better. It's a shame again on you, Court, making it even worse now. Playability, it gets an 8. Electronics, uh, yeah, we have a two single coils and we have a humbucker. Five-way switch, volume tone, output jack. And these work really good. They have very little noise even the single coil pickups and uh, i mean i should expect noise or i don't know some kind of electronic disturbance so it gets a 10 because there's nothing wrong with this one 